One, one, one game set last weekend against uh, LSU, I thought we had a, a really good opportunity to, to steal the game from LSU. Uh, the final result was uh, was 1-0, and obviously whenever you're playing up, so to speak, uh, your, your challenge, your first challenge or priority is, is find a way to keep yourself in the game. And so I thought our ladies did a really good job of uh, being organized defensively, uh, limiting or at least uh, making the, sh the uh, scoring opportunities that LSU had uh, very difficult. Uh, so we did a good job at that. And I think the other thing I was proud of them about was, uh, you know, we talked about coming out of the right scheme that we, we thought we should have uh, tried to possess the ball more, counterattack a little less. And, uh, you know, so we, I think we went in with that philosophy and we played LSU and we had some good opportunities to score. I think the shots on goal were uh, tallied up as five for LSU and uh, four for us. Coming off a really busy week, a lot of travel, a lot of games this week. Um, we did a good job over the week of putting ourselves in a really good competitive position to win a couple games. Um, so that was really exciting. Um, and we're really excited this week to head into conference with uh, Nichols on Thursday at 7 and Southeastern on Saturday at 2. Um, and head into conference play and see who's good as rolling. And we're really anxious to get Megan um, back and back from her ankle injury and get her back out on the court playing with us. Um, we had our uh, first real out in, uh, this week, this past week at Rice. Uh, we got a chance to see some of the schools in the conference. Uh, the men uh, finished sixth overall. Uh, the bright spark there was uh, we, uh, the new leader for the season. Uh, seems to be kind of separating himself. But Alex Bruce Little with your name out by mentioned a lot uh, during the course of uh, this season here. He uh, was two seconds or three seconds behind the uh, last year's conference champion from uh, Corpus Christi, uh, Patrick Kimberley. So uh, good to see Alex uh, connect and uh, able to hang with uh, one of the top guys in the conference there. Um, on the women's side, uh, we had two young ladies in the top ten. We had Amy Talbot and Bill Ross. Um, they were ninth and tenth. Uh, again, we had uh, uh, Corbis and Lamar and um, uh, SFA were there attached uh, on the women's side. So we, we had a good chance to see what a lot of our, our competition will be like uh, here in the next, uh, over the next five weeks. Uh, feel what it's like to make it win. Walk off the field was nice. Uh, I think we'll be a little healthier this week. We at least have a chance to than what we've been the last couple weeks. Uh, I thought we did some good things on defense from the first week, which I was really excited about. We made some big plays on special teams. You go back to the game. Uh, you know, first, you know, everybody the, remembers the uh, punt return from Darius. I thought we had a really good hit by Guy Morgan, which kind of excited our sideline. And then, in essence, I don't know how much of the punt Terrence K. He, you know, got when he blocked it, but he forced him to shank it, which was equivalent to a turnover. You only get about eight yards on the punt. So uh, made three big plays in special teams. Uh, the other thing, uh, you know, offensively we did have a pick for a touchdown, but uh, other than that, we uh, continue to be pretty efficient throwing the ball, 20 or 30. You know, after a 31 or 41 against Kansas, come back, go 20 or 30, you know, get the 66 uh, whatever percent mark, and. Uh, you know, which, which was also good. Uh, another good thing is we got to play a lot of guys, which, which is always good. Uh, we had 24 different guys actually register a tackle. So we played a bunch of guys on the defensive side. And the other thing that was really you know, beneficial to us, I think, moving forward, uh, I don't know how much of an effect it will have, but I, I believe it's going to be beneficial in the long run that we had to play. You know, it's, you know, uh, I'm glad that we had to play four quarters. I'm glad we got our nose buddied a little bit. And uh, we had to play and uh, at least stay in the game mentally for 60 minutes because we start conference this week. And uh, I would have hated to get into a game, uh, you know, and to, to not at least have a couple games where you're really challenged and have to play. And then because all the conference games in this league are close. And so I thought that helped us as well. Uh, the things that weren't good were uh, the three turnovers, uh, you know, led to 10 points and uh, took away points. You know, we fumbled inside the 10, which is never good. but. Um, all in all, we thought that most of the mistakes are correctable and um, we're excited to move forward. Southeastern comes in, the last couple of years have been really close games. We won, uh, I guess in the last minute here, I remember on a Derek Farouda, Richard Conner pass, I think 35-32, 2009, they go over there and, you know, in more of an offensive game. Last year, go down there in more of a defensive game and win 13-10, and you know, on a 53, 52-53 yard field goal. So, you know, the games are predominantly close when we play Southeastern. Uh, this year they're one and two. They've had to play two FBS opponents already. And losing the two lane, uh, 
47-33, which they had 450 yards of offense in that game. And then lost last week at Southern Miss, which is always a tough place to play as well.